Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Yeah, not much changed since the last update, but the Gala price has moved to the next key level that I explained to you and showed you in previous videos. Here, the dotted line at 2.6 cents. It takes a break above that level to unlock higher prices um, and that we can actually start to watch really for a move towards the 6.2 cent level in this move. We're currently tracking an uptrend. We're tracking a, a move up into the red resistance box in a corrective rally ABC. It's an ABC structure. There are further key resistances along the way, especially, well, especially the 6.2 cent level is going to be critical. It's the 38.2 Fib retracement and structural resistance, which is very, very clear. There will be further smaller levels along the way, like 2.9 cents, uh, 3.5 cents and a relevant one here as it looks like like 5 cents yeah which produced a lot of uh, resistance before but also support in July 22. Now what we see here is a potential potential um, inverse head and shoulders pattern that could be forming okay so I'm just extending this this line a little bit and you can see the potential of an inverse head and shoulder so left shoulder we had the head and the right shoulder yeah other other coins are in a similar posture and yeah i mean a pullback and a breakout could send us higher the thing is the micro count is not clear so i can give you a micro count. it just there are just too many options because an, an a wave can be corrective an a an a wave can be impulsive so it doesn't really i can give you some ideas for micro counts here but it's just too the price action is too sloppy to be reliable so it could even be that this is already all of wave a then we get a B and C, but then it's likely that this is not going to be all of wave two. So this ABC structure could again be embedded in a larger A, B, C structure, yeah? Um, because wave two would most likely reach at least the 38.2 Fibonacci level. Uh, oftentimes it's only the A wave that reaches that level. So we have to remain flexible, expect some wave count changes along the way, but none of that will change the trend really. I think we need to be very much aware um, what in any pullback yeah, the support would be. So first of all, you need to understand where the support levels are. Well, there is support here. It's going to be key. So there's a support level here, which I highlight in green structurally. Okay. And that's basically at 1.8 cents. Previous swing lows. One, two, three. And then below that level, there is support here, which is the previous breakout point, yeah, which confirmed basically our rally for us. And that's at 1.64 cents. So these are key support levels. Um, shorter, maybe even this one. Yeah. We have to work with structures here because I don't have a very good view of the micro count here. I can give you some ideas, but these are key. And then here, micro structural support is at 2.06 cents. So 2.06, one point, yeah, 1.8 cents and 1.64 cents. These are key. And for a potential inverse head and shoulders, what we need is a right shoulder. And that would give us a nice proportion yeah, with a breakdown potentially to one around 1.8 cents, but it's not guaranteed, right? But if we then add and layer the Fibonacci retracements above this, then you can see that our standard Fibonacci retracements for such a B wave pullback they are basically, I have to add the 38.2 FIB level as well. They are basically pretty much in line or at least overlapping to a degree. Yeah, it's certainly this area with the green structural support line. So we have one, we have two cents as support, 1.83 cents and 1.67. Below 1.47, I have to take a more bearish perspective. But from a Fibonacci point of view, because B waves can be very deep, this support, yeah, there is plenty of support. And it goes down all the all the way to 1.47 cents. We have to allow for such a deep pullback. Doesn't mean it has to get there. It's just support. I don't really have any targets for the downside. They're just supports. So targets, we don't really have targets for corrective waves because especially a B wave can be very shallow, can be very long, um, could even overshoot to the downside, but that would make, make it completely unreliable. But what I want to emphasize is that, you know, watch for an inverse head and shoulders pattern to form. Um, at the moment, it looks as if this A wave might be complete. It, it's a bit too early. It might also get another push to the upside. But um, there is clear resistance that I explained. 
and I would just be watching for an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Of course, a sustained break above 2.7 cents would most likely lead directly to a rally without a right shoulder. But um, yeah, overall, the trend is up. You can just keep it simple and say against the 1.47 cent level, the trend is up. And if you spot any deep pullback, it might actually be um, a buying opportunity, especially if it's a corrective pullback into support. That's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.